Welcome back to my channel, Make Easy. In this specific video for QBasic, I'm going to show you how to check input number is divisible by 10 or not, 12 or not, 5 or not, or any number. How to check divisibility in QBasic in very simple steps. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the previous video so you can understand QBasic very easily. And if you want to learn more, there is different playlist for QBasic. You can watch the videos and understand the QBasic program in very simplest way. Let's go to the screen and let's see how to write the code for that. QB64, which is easy to use. You can copy program, you can paste it here and you can test the program whether that is working or not in very simplest way. If you don't know how to install it, you can watch my previous video. I have already made the video on that. You can watch that and install it. Now, WAP, write a program to check input number is divisible by 17 or not. So we have to check input number is divisible by 17 or not. So what is the requirement for this program? The requirement is one number. User will enter any number. So we have to check that whether that input number is divisible by 17 or not. So I'll write here CLS to clear the data of the output screen. And then I will write here input, enter any number and then semicolon and then n. User will enter any number that will be stored in n. It can be 10, 12, 13, 17, 36, whichever the number is. Then what is divisible? What is divisibility? If we divide that input number by 17, and if we get remainder at 0, then that is divisible by 17, else not divisible. So how to get the remainder? We have to use mod. Mod will give you remainder. So I'll write here r equals to n, n means user input number mod 17, because we have to check divisible by 17 or not. What does it mean? It means user will enter any number that will be stored in n. So that number mod 17, we are dividing that number by 17 and mod will give the remainder and we are storing that remainder in r variable. So we have to check whether that remainder is 0 or not. If r equals to 0, then if r equals to 0, then we have to print here n is divisible by 17 else we have to print n is not divisible by 17. 17 and then we have to write here end if and then end let me enter the number zero as remainder let's run the program and enter different number 35 35 is not divisible by 17 correct answer Let's run program and enter the different value 36. 36 is divisible, is not divisible by 17. Okay, let's enter different number 34. 34 is divisible by 17. So in this way it works. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click on the like button, subscribe button and share with your friends. Have a good day and see you in the next video.